having raised children here, some of my experiences, I would say that I probably experienced racism uh, more so in encountering uh, issues through the school district uh, that I didn't necessarily experience back home where I grew up. And so my oldest son, who's now, oh gosh, how old is he? He will probably be mad if I forget. He's uh, 25 going on 26 in this year. But uh, when he was in like kindergarten or first grade, I remember that he had a little friend and she was a little white girl and they were thick as thieves. You know, if you saw one, you saw the other. And, but by the time the school year was almost over, she had to, she told him that she could no longer play with him because he was the N-word. So, um, and she said that her dad told her that. And so I'm suspecting that, you know, all along throughout the year, they probably didn't know that he was a little black boy. Um, and once they found out, so it's like, that was really heartbreaking for me because I never had that experience growing up uh, within my own community. Um, but that was very early on that I had that experience with him. And then I did notice a difference in the way that he was treated at school. I had to go to the school all the time and advocate for him on his behalf. Um, uh, my youngest son, I actually experienced something maybe just a few years back. Uh, my youngest son is 17 and just maybe two or three years ago, we had a bus driver who uh, would treat him as if he was about to do something. You know, he would get on the bus and his assigned seat was somewhere towards the middle of the back of the bus, but she would tell him to sit up in the front of the bus. And it got to the point that other students started asking him, why are you asking him to do that? So of course he came home and he told me about it. So, you know, of course me being mama bear, I went up to the bus stop and of course you can't approach the bus and you can't stop in the stairwell of the bus, but I would just go and stand there and just kind of look like I'm watching. He has the parents and my husband and I would take turns walking this child who's probably either in high school or middle school. We would take turns watch, you know, watching him get on and off the bus. And what was interesting is that I never said anything and I never approached the bus, but my son reported to me one day that she, the bus driver said to him, and she was a white woman, she said to him, and am I supposed to be scared that your mom is coming up here? Am I supposed to be scared of that? I said, okay, we're done here. That's it. So I called um, the head of the transportation department um, and I reported what was happening. And I, I let the lady know, you know, this is the experience that we had. And she told me this is intolerable. And she said that there aren't any incidents. There's nothing recorded that shows that he has been a problem. Um, Cause I even said, you know, if there's something that he's done and she's not reporting it, then by all means, please let me know. Because if he's done something, then I need to know so that we can handle it. But don't just keep antagonizing him without letting us know and helping, letting us get involved. So the head of the bus administration let me know, transportation department, that she was going to handle it. Well, a few weeks after that, she was transferred to a different bus. So um, we found out that she has had problems in the past in dealing with students. And so um, in middle school, interestingly enough, even though you know we believe that there's this black and brown coalition, and in many instances it is, I think my son probably got called the N-word more in middle school where he was at a school that was predominantly uh, Latino and Hispanic there. And to the point that he called me one day, actually he called his dad and, and said, dad, can I get into a fight today? And he was like, what? And I had to go and I had to talk to the principal and the administrators and all of his teachers where this was happening on a regular basis. And they had to have an intervention where the teachers had to talk to the students about their choice of words and how they interacted. So I said all that to say that it's, um, it has been a struggle.